what's going everybody and welcome back to another video so today i am here to do a more in-depth walkthrough of my front wheel drive setup i've been showcasing this car on my channel for a minute now and you know i'm here to do a more close-up walkthrough and everything one of the biggest or one of the most questions that i get with this setup is they always asking me you know what tires am i running what gears what motor all of that stuff so let me come over here so and start with tires first i have on a new set which is the same as this one right here i am running the same one but it's a little bit more smooth because it's new however this one right here i would recommend this one i ran it before and i got consistent three threes with this tire setup however as you can see right here because it is so it has such a wide um contact patch i'm not able to camber it enough to to reach the um the surface so technically the car is getting over cambered and that's not really ideal for this chassis so this one is good but you're going to end up running into this problem right here so i would rather stick to this one right here but uh, another widely asked question is how do I get them to work and it's simple guys as you can see all of them will display the same thing all I do is I shave it down because one thing with this tire setup guys is that it will come from factory with the hex protruding from from this section so it's gonna be a little bit more raised than here so what I do I shave it down and then I put on um, plastic things on the inside to space it and bring it right down to like a 13 millimeter size it takes a little strength to force it in but you know once you run the car it will smooth out and everything will like work into place and then you can put on and off the tire as you feel so that's how I do it a lot of people they don't want to um, expose how they get their um, stuff done but I'm doing it guys because I'm not hiding anything my channel is basically about you know teaching people um, and things that I try and do and it actually work the same thing I did to this one and I ran it and it ran smooth the thing is that you just have to make sure that the, the hex is properly lined up so you won't have any inconsistency with the rotation but um, this one is better than this one guys this one will give you a longer run time but you're gonna end up running into this problem right here so that's a tire setup for the front and for the back and actually guys um, these tires you can get on RC Mart they're Formula 1 tires so you can tap in on that and then around the back here the reason why I don't like talking about these tires guys is because I custom made these ones from between airplane tires or airplane rims I should say and um, the RC dunk tires so I'm gonna have to do a custom DIY on that but these are very expensive so I must warn you on that so that is that for the setup I'm gonna go ahead now and take off the body so I can explain what else I have under here so now guys for those who are new to the channel I'm running a 6.5 turn motor which is a hobby wing and also a hobby wing 120 amp ESC this setup is not new I've run this one before and I've also run a castle ESC in it as well the reason why I'm not really so serious and like pushing this thing to the extreme limits is because truth be told with this setup alone I've not fully turned up the car all the test sessions that I've done and so far I've gotten the car down to the max 3.3 with not even a tunable remote so I know there's so much more into it so you know I'm not really gonna you know really focus on like burning more money on electronics more better off like on a remote but this is what the setup is guys and the battery is a 120 C and it's a 2S LiPo that is the requirements to run front wheel drive um, drag racing uh, basically in Canada in the States and basically anywhere else you can run 3s but 3s is not really ideal guys because already on on 2s you know you're already peeling off the tires with the power band and everything so the trick is now to just try to dial in the car as best as you can so that is what it is guys like share and subscribe and stay tuned I've done a lot of weight reduction some different things you know to really get the car going on the track so keep following the bill stay tuned and thanks for watching.